So 343 is trying out something completely different with the store now, and did it turn out to be better or worse than we had previously? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. As you can see here, here is the store for the week. This is the second week of the Cyber Showdown event, so again, I see some more cosmetics tied to that, but now they're selling individual items this week, which is kind of interesting. You can see the prices are drastically lower than we're used to seeing, but is there actually more value to it, or how does it turn out? Well, let's check it out. So we got the Perfect Ascension here, which is for 800 credits for about $8 USD. You have this cool kind of armor effect where, like you see for all your other kind of armor effects you have in the game. Pretty interesting stuff right here. It does look actually kind of sweet, not gonna lie. And a bunch of other emblems tied to it as well, which I'm like, emblems, I mean, I always kind of view it as like filler content, unless you're really into like Japanese culture. I don't really see myself bothering with this at all. For 700 credits, we'll begin the Firefall helmet, which is apparently a helmet that was designed to kind of an offshoot of ODSTs, as you can tell right here. And it's a pretty sweet looking helmet, but for $7 for just a helmet, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit steep still. We have the neon end credits right here, which gives you the death effect of kind of like the cyber showdown thing we're kind of dealing with right now, with like that purple teal kind of digital look to the whole thing. It does look pretty sweet, not gonna lie. And for six bucks, it depends how much you like it. Depends on well you can kill players, right? Because if you can't kill anything, you're not gonna see this, right? It's kind of a fun death effect to add on to your weapons. For six dollars USD, it depends how much you would value that. We only have one bundle this week and it is the Cosmic Goblin bundle, which is really just like the color purple with a, with a green visor. That's really like, I don't find to be that noticeable, but if you really like purple, and you really like the green visor for 400 credits, this bundle could be yours as well. So how does this really compare to last week? Is it any better or just different? Well, let's take a look. Because if you guys remember the Neon Beat, which is like one of the bigger bundles, had an armor effect along with a visor that they charged for $10. For this week, they're just doing an armor effect for $2 less at $8 or 800 credits. Last week, the Neon Superfly came with a bunch of different coatings for your AR, your Assault Rifle, your Mark 7, your Yoroi set as well. And on top of that, all your different vehicles, like your Warhogs and things like that. So I actually bought into this one. I thought it was a pretty good bundle. It had some pretty good variations to the whole thing. Gave you a stance and a new visor and stuff like that as well, all for 1,200 credits. And for half that price, you get a death animation. So it's it's kind of just different. I don't even know if it's even better. Also for last week, we had the Zodiac River, which came with a bunch of different coatings for your vehicles, as well as different tires for your Warhog. Well, for this one, for 700 credits, you get like an ODST-like helmet. So for me personally, I don't think I'll be picking up anything this week in the store. I feel like some of these individual items might be a little too expensive, but they actually kind of dropped the price on a few things because they kind of cut some of the fat when it came to the padding of some of the content, like adding in new emblems and things like that. I do like how we have individual items available for purchase, but I would like to see possible like individual items alongside with the different bundles. So for me personally, 800 credits for an armor effect, not really worth it to me. 700, definitely not worth it for the helmet. 600 credits for the death effect is kind of worth it for me just because you see that every time you kill a player, right? And for 400 credits, the Cosmic Goblin came with the purple coating and also a visor. Not that interesting to me, so I'm not gonna bother with this either. So for this week, I would kind of call it a miss, but I think it's kind of a step in the right direction. We'll get to the right point eventually, I feel. Now, 343 did state that they're gonna be trying out different things when it comes to the store and, you know, mixing in bundles, mixing in some individual items, changing up the pricing and things like that. They're just trying out things to see what kind of sticks with the community and what people are willing to pay for in the multiplayer of Halo Infinite, which I'm certainly glad to see just because uh, the way the store initially was, wasn't very good, like at all. And 343 has their metrics. They have their goals that they need to hit when it comes to the microtransactions. And so they're just trying things out different and see what sticks. And this week, I don't think it really stuck at all. Like, not very well. But if you guys are new to the channel and may say content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.